Okay, so we know what scanning is. We also created our virtual machine that is vulnerable. And now we are ready to see what information can we get by scanning that machine. But before we scan a single machine to discover open ports, we must first discover what machines we got on our network. So the first part of scanning a network is to figure out how many hosts you have active and what are their IP addresses. In this case, we are going to act as if we got a task to scan our home network. And we want to discover vulnerable machines within our home network. So let's start by seeing how many hosts we got active first. There are many ways that we can go about doing this. Since I know that all the possible hosts for my network must go in range from 192.168.1.1 to 192.168.1.255. Since my IP address starts with these three first numbers, let me just type the password and here it is 192.168.1. This is the part that doesn't change. And to scan all 254 hosts inside of my network, I can just go and ping each and every one of them and see whether they respond to our pinging or not. If they respond, they are online. If not, they are offline. But what if I had to test more than one network? What if I had 10 more networks besides this one that I need to test? Am I about to try to ping every possible host from all those networks? Of course not. That's why we are going to use different tools to perform this much faster. Let us try with the first tool called ARP. Now, ARP is a tool in Cal Linux, but it is also a packet. ARP packets are used in discovering hosts on the network, but more about them later on once we get to the man in the middle section. For now, just remember that they are packets for discovering hosts. Before we use this ARP tool, make sure your Metasploitable is started up. And in case you got some other devices that you can connect to the internet, connect them just so we can get various output and try to figure out which IP address belongs to which host. Now, our ARP tool works based on those ARP packets that I mentioned. So if I type ARP dash dash help and press enter, it will tell me command not found. Now this is because I must run the tool with sudo privileges. So sudo ARP dash dash help. And here is the tool. It doesn't have too many options. We got dash A, which displays all hosts in alternative BSD style, dash E, display all hosts in default, Linux style. And these options down here are not something that we're interested in. All we want to do is use this dash A option. So if I go down here, clear the screen and type sudo ARP dash A, it will tell me it only discovered my router. But why is that? I got my Metasploitable running, I also got my laptop running, so it should be discovering other hosts as well. Sometimes we must ping a host first before it appears right here, since this information is being read from our ARP tables. So if I, for example, try to ping my Metasploitable, it will get responses back, and if I run ARP-A again, now we will see that we got an entry for the Metasploitable inside of our ARP tables. So this tool doesn't seem to be that good for discovering hosts. Sometimes it will have all the hosts available since you already communicated with them before, but sometimes it seems that we must ping the host first before it shows them. That's why a much better option is tool called NetDiscover. To run NetDiscover, we can simply type sudo NetDiscover inside of your terminal, press enter, and this tool will find all of the available devices on your network on its own. You don't have to ping anything, you don't have to communicate with anything, you can just leave this tool to run and it will find all the devices on your network. So right here it managed to find five of them. We can see up here that it is still scanning and it is just scanning different subnets, so it already finished mine and you can control C this if you already see the result, since this will scan all the usual subnets that occur in a network. Right here we see that we captured 5 ARP packets and there are ARP requests and ARP replies, but once again more about that later. This just means that we managed to discover 5 hosts using these packets and these are those 5 hosts. 
let me control C this, since it won't really manage to find any more hosts. And right here we got their IP addresses, their MAC addresses, and their MAC vendor name or host name. So right here, I know that this is my Metasploitable, which is this one. This one I did too, that 168.1.7 is my host machine or my physical machine that I'm running my Cal Linux on. These two down here are two laptops, I believe. And this right here is my router. And how do I know that this is my router? Well, usually routers start with the first number. Either it will be something like dot zero or dot one. And just so you can be sure which IP address is your router, you can type the command netstat nr. And under this gateway column, we should see the IP address of the router. So you can see they do match. The next step would be to go about scanning each and every one of them. And for this, we're going to be scanning our Metasploitable. And you can also scan your home machines just for even more practice. See you in the next video.